poor, landlocked, forsaken, and for Israel, important. Most Israelis have likely never heard of Chad, but their prime minister is all in on Chad. He has good reason. We are strengthening our friendship and our common interests in pursuing peace and security and prosperity. So I welcome you in great friendship, and I hope to see you again in Chad. Chad matters to Israel in itself and as a pilot project. And so the opening of the Chadian embassy near Tel Aviv is for Israel a positive development. Chad has a strategic location, as Prime Minister Netanyahu has said, and has oil reserves, even though its government does have a poor human rights record. More importantly for Israel, Chad can serve as a pilot project, not only a precursor to the Abraham Accords when relations restarted in 2019, but a pilot project for other parts of the Sahel and West Africa, where countries do not have open ties with Israel. I turn to God in prayer that with the official opening of our embassy here, relations between the two countries will bring great benefits to your people and ours. Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger. The hope in Israel is that some or all could follow Chad. To that end, Israel is trying to demonstrate why it is a valuable partner. In Chad, active on defense and intelligence for a government fighting Islamist rebels. And active in development work, building a new trauma center in the hospital of the Chadian capital, Najamana, In the hopes that normalization will be infectious and that these pictures are the start of something bigger.